The gift. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, elf hats. We can be Santa's helpers. Ho, ho, ho. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go, 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 go. Kit and Kate set off for Santa's workshop at the North Pole. And no sooner did they arrive than it was time to get to work. All right, elves, break time's over. Present wrappers, take your places. I guess that's us. Yes, that's you. Here comes the first present, Kit. Got it. He'll never guess what's in here. This one's ready for Santa's sleigh. Here comes another one. Okay. Kate, look! Whoa, a hoverboard! It's just like the one we wished for! He's so lucky! Wow, he's getting another present? No way! Look! Another hoverboard? We should keep this one. He won't miss it. Ho, ho, ho! Everything packed and ready to go? Ready for takeoff, Santa. Excellent. Then it's time for me to bring these presents to all the good girls and boys. Ho, ho, ho! Kid and Kate rushed off to try the new hoverboard. They had so much fun, they kept riding and riding all through the night until Santa returned from delivering all of his presents. What's the matter, Santa? <sighs> I lost one of the presents. A hoverboard. You didn't lose it. It's over here. You took it? Why? Well, we were wishing for a hoverboard. And he didn't need two. Two? No, one was for Teddy Bear, and that one was for his twin brother, Timmy. Now, Timmy got nothing, and he was such a good boy this year. We're sorry. Here, take it to him. It's too late. That's your present now. Merry Christmas. I don't want this anymore. I feel awful. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Isn't this yours? Yeah. No. Well, it was supposed to be for a good little boy. But it was just what we wanted for Christmas, so we took it. That's not right. We asked Santa to take it back, but it was too late. So he told us to keep it. So you got what you wished for. We didn't wish for the boy to be sad. Or for Santa to be so upset. Ah, so that's why you don't want it anymore. Yeah. How can you have fun with something when you know that getting it made other people sad? I get it. Getting what you want isn't all that matters. Right. How you get it matters, too. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we won't take anything that isn't ours. Like good kittens. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their workshop adventure all over again. But this time, instead of being jealous, the kittens were excited for the good boys and girls all around the world. Timmy and Teddy are going to be so surprised. And have so much fun raising each other. I wish I could see their faces when they get these. Ho, ho, ho! Everything packed and ready to go? Ready for takeoff, Santa. You two have really been very good kitties this year. Thank you. Santa, wait, you forgot some presents. Kit, look, they're for us. Thank, Thank you, Santa. Santa. Merry Christmas. Mad, mad, mad. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Paints.
brushes. Smocks. Let's be painters. Yeah, with our own studio. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. When Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box, their playroom transformed into an amazing artist studio. I've got everything planned. First, we'll paint a sunrise like this. Then a still life like this. And then a serious portrait like this one. And when we have enough pictures, we can have our own art show. Yeah! First picture, sunrise over Paris. Grab your watercolors, the sunrise is coming. Okay. And here it comes. No! The clouds ruined my picture. <laughs> it's okay, Kit. Let's just do the still life. <clears throat> okay. Kit decided to move on to the next part of his plan, and Quick Quack and Quake were happy to help their friends get set up. That's great! Let's draw! Just like I planned. Handlebars, wheel, not again! <laughs> That's better. Petals, seat. Oh! <laughs> it's not funny. Let's just do the portrait. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, looks great, guys. Now hold still. Good, some yellow. Finally, things were going just like Kit planned, until... Ugh! Stop moving! <laughs> <laughs> Will you all stop it? You stop it, Kit. You're being no fun. You want me to stop? Fine. I quit. That's not fair. Hey! Oh. Hey, where are you going? So much for our great day of painting. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Artists, what is the matter? Everything. The sunrise got rained out, the still life wouldn't hold still, and my serious portrait was full of silly sneezes. I couldn't paint anything I planned. You planned? But how can you plan when it will be sunny, or when something might fall, or when someone might sneeze? Well, I can't. Of course not. Life is full of surprises. But surprises can be fun, too. Oh, I get it. Just because things don't go the way I planned doesn't mean I can't have fun. Very artfully said. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Let's try again. Now that's a plan I like. Now, now we, we know, know, so back, back we go. go. Kit and Kate started their painting adventure all over again. But this time, when things didn't go the way he wanted, Kit tried to find a different way to have fun. Looks like a rainy day. Hey, that gives me a new idea for my painting. I call it Wet, Wet Morning. And when the still life wouldn't keep still, Kit started drawing something else in a hurry. I call it Bad Bike, Flying Fruit. <laughs> That's great! And this time when the duck sneezed... <laughs> this one's called the Big Sneeze! Wow! Super! <laughs> I have a painting too, Kit! It's called Mad, Mad, Mad! It's you when you were getting so mad! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> And with so many great pictures, Kit and Kate started making plans for their big art show. Super Duper Party Pooper. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, party hats. <gasps> Let's go to party land. Where every day's a party. That'll be fun. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate couldn't wait to get to Party Land. But when they got there, it didn't look anything like what they imagined. Huh? This is Party Land? Look! Whoa! Welcome! 
I'm the Party Land Party Genie. Time to pick our special kitty for the day. Hey, it's me. Yay! Super duper. That means it's your special day. Let the party begin. Wow, I love it. Of course! You're the party princess! Hey, what do I get? You get to enjoy your sister's big day! Huh? Now make a wish and blow out the candles. But I want a cake. I wish for race cars. <gasps> no fair, Kit. It's my special day. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, it won't work for you. Today's the party princess's day. Go ahead, Kate. Hmm. I wish for music. <laughs> wow! Go ahead, push the pedals. Hooray for Kate! Kate is great. She's so great, so great, so great. Hooray for Kate! Kate is great. She's so Why, great, so great, so you. great. Hooray <laughs> for Kate! Kate is great. Hey, Kate! It's my turn. I want a song about me. <laughs> This stinks! Easy now, Kit! I'm sure you'll like what's coming next. It's beautiful! Now swing at the shiny star with the wand. If you hit it, wonderful surprises will come out. Forget it! Let go, Kit! No! If I can't do it, no one will! <gasps> you broke the party! Goodbye! Oh, no. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Yo, what's wrong, kitties? We came to Partyland for a great time, but Kit ruined the party. Why'd you ruin it? Because all the special stuff was for Kate, and none was for me. Huh. Tell me, did you ever have a day when you got special stuff? Yeah, my birthday. Huh. And did everyone have fun? We all had lots of fun. And did everyone get the same special things you did? No, only I got the special stuff. Hey, wait, I get it. When you help make the day special for someone else, you help make the day fun for everyone. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's try again. But this time, I'll help make your special day extra special. Now, now we know, so back we go. Kitty and Kate started their party land adventure all over again. But this time when the cake came out... Make a wish and blow out the candles, Kate. It's your special day. Yay! Ha-ha! <laughs> and when it was time to make music... Go on, Kate! Pedal! Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! She's so great, so great, so great! Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! And when it was time to hit the star... Go on! Swing, Kate! I can't reach it, Kit. Can you do it? Sure I can. Wait, I can do something better. Go on, it's your special day. This is so much fun! Wow! Thanks, Kit! And by helping to make Kate's day extra special, Kit made the day special for everybody. Bossy, bossy boss. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, tools. Let's build a house for the ducks. Yeah, where they can stay warm all winter long. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran with their tools to tell the ducks about their big building project. Well, what do you think? <coughs> you want to help? Do you have your own tools? <coughs> Wow! I guess you do. So who's going to be in charge? Well, I think I'm the natural leader for this job, so I should be in charge. <laughs> okay, then you're the boss, Kit. Great, we'll build the house here on the beach so the ducks can go swimming just as soon as they step outside. But the ground up there looks a lot more solid. <laughs> well, maybe so, but I'm the boss and I want to build it here. Okay. Great! Now we 
need to fill in the gaps between these logs. Let's use jelly. Jelly? Yeah, it's really sticky. And if we get hungry, we can make sandwiches. But Quack thinks cement would be stronger. Well, maybe so, but I'm the boss and I want to use jelly. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Now, all we need is the roof. Right. Quake thinks we should use these wooden shingles. Well, I'm the boss, and I think we should use scotch tape. Scotch tape? Yeah, so we'll be able to see the sky from inside. Soon the house was finished just the way Kit wanted. See? Isn't it great? <sighs> Where's that wind coming from? Shoo, go away, bear. But I'm hungry. Kit, look up there. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Not for long. Don't worry, it's just a little leak. Not anymore. We better get out of here. Thanks, boss. <laughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. My goodness, children. What are you doing out here on such a cold, wet day? We came to build a house for the ducks. Then you should get inside there to dry off and get warm. We can't. It fell apart. How come? Because we built it on sand with jelly and scotch tape. Really? And whose ideas were those? His. I wanted to build it up here, and the ducks wanted to use cement and shingles. But he wouldn't listen. Why not? Because I'm the boss, and that means we get to make it my way, with my ideas. And what if you had tried using some of their ideas? Well, we'd probably be inside a nice warm house. Oh. I understand. Being the boss doesn't mean just getting your own way. It means listening to everyone so you can choose the best way. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, I'll try to be a good boss instead of just a bossy one. Now, now we, we know, so back we go! go. Kit and Kate started their building adventure all over again. But this time, Kit listened to everyone's ideas and chose the ones that were best, even if they weren't his own. Thanks for all the great ideas, everyone. And I've got one more. Let's eat jelly sandwiches. We got plenty. Did someone say jelly sandwiches? <laughs> all by myself. Kit, let's look in the box. Do you see what I see? I see what you saw. A seesaw kit. Let's put it together. Together. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. go! Kit and Kate set off on their big adventure. They journeyed up Cog Cliff and across the Piston Prairie until they found what they were looking for. Wow, this is the perfect spot to build our seesaw kit. Kit? You're right, Kate. Kate? <laughs> Here are the instructions. Let's see. First, we have to dig a hole for the center post. I can help dig the hole with this shovel. Eh. Eh. Hey. Don't bother, Kate. I can do this all by myself. Uh, okay. Watch how fast I am. Blah! Watch it, Kit. Sorry. <laughs> See? Told you I could do it myself. Well, let me help you stand the post up. Eh. Ah. Oh. Don't bother. I could do it myself. But it's heavy, Kit. No sweat. Watch. Hm. Uh. Ha. Huh? Myself. Mm. Mm. Got it. I knew 
I could do it myself. Well, let me help attach the cross beam. Nah, I could do it myself. Attach the seats? I could do that myself. Hold the handles? Don't tell me. I can do that all by myself. Yup. Huh? Huh. There! It's done! I told you I could do it myself! Now let's ride! Come on, Kate! No! Kate, it takes two to seesaw! Why don't you just do it all by yourself? What's your problem? You wanted to seesaw, so I built you a seesaw! See? I saw. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Wow, what a super seesaw! Why aren't you two riding it? She won't get on! No, why not? I wanted to help build it, but he wouldn't let me. So I could do it all by myself. I see. And was it fun to build? Super fun! It sure wasn't fun for me. How come? Because I felt left out. Oh, now I understand. When everyone gets a chance to help, no one feels left out. I'm glad you finally seesaw the light. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll do everything together so no one feels left out. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their seesaw adventure all over again. But this time, Kit let Kate help out instead of trying to do everything all by himself. Kate, will you help me dig this hole? Sure, I love digging. Kate, if you'll hold the pole, I'll grab the shovel and fill in the dirt. You got it. You see what I see? I see a seesaw. Together. Together! Come on, Kate, get on! I can't do this all by myself. And by letting his sister help, Kit learned that working together is a lot more fun for everyone. <laughs> <laughs>